Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I've very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. So NEET PG is finally happening on the 21st of May. There is no confusion about it, no delays. Although many people wanted that it will be delayed, but you just have to take it uh, with a pinch of salt. It is what it is. Just take a deep breath. It's going to be fine. You're going to plan your next week well and you're going to dive full on with your preparation for NEET PG. But just have faith in your preparation. It's going to be okay. Firstly, hopefully you're still not, uh, you know, in the mindset of INIS, post INICT and not running after any more recalls or trying to figure out how many questions you will get right, etc, etc. It's high time you're over INICT. You just don't have the liberty of time to be still hung up on that paper. You have a very important paper uh, in the next week and you just need to forget about the past. Of course, if, um, you know, there were a few things that you thought, you know, were there in your notes and you couldn't get those questions right or a particular subject uh, that you felt was also very, uh, you know, had um, a similar level of difficulty for NEET PG and you want to work upon that, then definitely take that from the paper. But there's no point in changing your entire preparation based on an INICT paper, which is obviously a little more atypical than your regular NEET PG paper. So have faith in what you've done. Uh, you can definitely take uh, take away some important you know learnings from it but don't completely change your preparation for sure because neat pg is a little different from inict so you just have to get back on track with your preparation and whatever schedule you had made in the last uh, for the last week you have to go forward with it bilkul uh, fifth gear pe gaadi chalani hai you can't be slow and take your time coming and reaching the momentum uh, this is a do or die situation and you have to make the most of your last week and make this week count and believe me there is a lot you can cover and you can definitely improve uh, from you know whatever gts you had been giving or whatever level of preparation you had the last week preparation for need pg is extremely extremely important and the more that you work towards it the more number of hours you put the less anxious you'll be believe me bahut limited mind space hoti and bahut limited time hai so you can't just keep on worrying about the outcome you have to have to put all of your energy in the preparation and usi se anxiety kam hogi you know every half an hour you will be closer to being you know that one you have one less topic to worry about so just uh, keep your head space in a preparation zone and please stay away from all unnecessary distractions uh, people who you know let you down or just you know uh, who disturb your mental space any news just you can take a social media hiatus and only only focus on your exam this is the need of the hour and there is no other way forward Coming on to the last week preparation before your NEET PG. So uh, first things first, your last GT should typically be within the last 7 to 10 days of your exam. So if you've given one GT yesterday or day before, it's good enough. You can review the GT and move on with your uh, revision of high yield topics. However, if you haven't, then today or tomorrow is also a good time to give this. Iske baad, thodi GT ki value kam ho jati hai because I personally feel that a GT is incomplete if you're unable to review it. And in the very last 2-3 days, it's very difficult to review an entire GT. Hence, abhi deke, usse khatam karo. Don't, uh, you know, put too much store, uh, store in the outcome of that particular GT. Achcha tha, bura tha, jaisa bhi tha. It was the last practice match that you gave. And uh, you can just move on from it and probably only see the incorrect questions because we are short on time. Now coming on to the main thing that is your high yield revision. So your high yield revision typically uh, I would really really recommend the BTR series which stands for Buri Tara Rato from uh, Zena Bora ma'am and there are about 9 videos you can stagger it in this entire week or watch it in the last couple of days. If you have watched it previously you can simply revise the PDFs or uh, you know watch it on 2x this time. So save time in all uh, things that you do and just revise this effectively it has a lot of uh, high yield topics from various various subjects that you can see before the exam 
सेकेंडली योर मेन रिविजन सोर्स हैज टू बी वट एवर यू हैव क्रिएटेड अब तक जो पूरे लास्ट ईयर में यू हैव वर्क हार्ड टू मेक अ रिविजन सोर्स दिस इज द टाइम टू यूटिलाइज इट सो यू कैन गो हैड विद योर टी एन डीज और योर डी वी टी और योर एनी रैपिड रिविजन नोट्स दैट यू हैव मेड एंड बिलीव मी वंस यू यू नो रिवाइज सारे मुझे पता है नहीं हो सकते बट एटलीस्ट योर डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट्स और यू नो इवन टी एन डीज में यू यू नो द एरियाज नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग रिवाइज दैम वंस कि कहाँ पे यू फॉल्टर मोर एंड वॉट आर मोर हाई यील्ड You will have a very good idea about that, and it's a very good idea to revise these things. You will get a lot of confidence by doing this. Thirdly, if you have made a twentieth notebook, you can definitely revise it about half an hour to forty-five minutes every day uh, before you, uh, you know, go to sleep. It's a good idea to see your twentieth notebook, or you can also do it on the very last or second last day of your exam. Then, please don't forget to do images. All neat PG papers are very heavy on images these days. So if you know there are images in your TNDs, or you have done some subjects from Vibe, it is a good idea to look at them in this week. And lastly, uh, short subjects I feel are high yield if you take them, you know, together. And uh, your, in fact, your weak subjects and volatile subjects. Because what happens is subjects like medicine uh, and all are very very conceptual. As in, new concepts you last week may not be made. Not even you will study new things that you should not be studying. इट्स ओनली द फाइनर थिंग्स दैट यू कैन रिवाइज जो वॉलेटाइल होती हैं सो शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट्स आर वन प्लेस दैट कैन बिकम वेरी स्कोरिंग इफ यू डू दैम वेल इन दिस लास्ट वीक एज वेल एज वॉट एवर योर वीक सब्जेक्ट और वॉलेटाइल सब्जेक्ट सो यू हैव टू टच अपॉन इट इन दिस वीक Now, coming to a good balance of questions is also extremely important. Again, previous year questions will take precedence over any other questions. However, अगर if you're confident with previous year, you can also do like your customized modules या जो भी आपका subject of the day है उसके questions. Typically, hundred to hundred fifty questions uh, is a good target for you know uh, these last few days. Last के एक दो दिन if you want uh, that uh, you know you just want to revise and not do questions, that is also uh, you know you can also do that but it's a good uh, idea to be in the practice of doing questions because ultimately aapko wohi karna hai on the day of the exam also uh, please uh, you know try to do these questions in the beginning part of the day because you want your mind to be active uh, at that, at that time just time pe paper hone wala hai so it's a good idea to start with that and you know start stimulating your mind ki is time pe you have to be very very active so in the morning if you do give a couple of hours to doing questions it's a very good idea but also please review and and you know see the answers of that questions yani ki sirf questions dekhe aage padhna hai you have to review them. Them for sure. Now, also a very important thing is uh, to you know improve your sleep cycle, and this is the right time to start doing it. Or uh, you know, एक दो दो तीन दिन बाद से भी you can uh, do this. Typically, need PG पहले दोपहर में होता था, but now it's in the morning, uh, and you have to be um, you know mentally very very uh, active during that time. And I know a lot of us. we have you know we study in the wee hours of the night and we are sleepy in the morning so this is the time ki ab gradually apni sleep cycle thodi improve karo so that uh, you know you're you're not that much anxious on the very last day of the exam so hopefully now you have a better idea of where to put your energies in this last week uh, and i'll try to make a video very very soon about the things that you simply should not miss on the last day of the exam and uh, all the very best bye bye